All right, this is Mr. Bully. Hey kids, we're going to talk about clouds. Clouds are awesome. There are amazing things up there in the sky. In this science book here, we've got just a little reader we're gonna look at, okay? If you think about for a minute on your own what you already know about clouds, okay? Just think about what you know about clouds. And then think about what you want to know about clouds. And then think about um, you would think about those two things. And then at the end, you can think about what you learned. You know, that's kind of what the KWL is. What you know already, what you want to know, and <clears throat> what you've learned. Okay? So after you read this book, yeah, good. So the words in this book, in this box will help you during your reading. Rain gauge, thermometer, and wind vane. These are tools we use to measure the weather. And we also we'll be discussing during our classroom lessons as well. Okay. All righty. During reading, you will understand how clouds help us predict today's weather, what the three main cloud shapes are, and then you'll write about one type of cloud. All About Clouds by Marilyn Greco. Which you already know. <clears throat> weather is what it's like outside. Weather is always changing. It can be hot or cold, wet or dry, windy or still. You can use different tools to measure different kinds of weather. Wind is moving air. You use a wind vane to tell which way the wind is blowing. The arrow on the wind vane will point the way the wind is blowing. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. Thermometers are used to measure temperature. The red line on the thermometer goes up when the air gets warmer. The red line goes down when the air gets cooler. Numbers on the thermometer tell you what the temperature is. Rain is drops of water that fall from the clouds. You use a rain gauge to measure how much rain falls. Rain falls into the top of the rain gauge. Numbers on the gauge tell you how much rain has fallen. Light from the sun causes the weather. The sun's light warms the land. The sun's light warms the water too. The land and water warm the air. Light from the sun causes the weather. Some scientists watch the clouds to understand the weather. Clouds are like clues. They can show us what will happen next. Read on to learn how. Clouds and weather and the weather. Have you ever looked up at the sky and watched the clouds? What did you see? Clouds come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. No two clouds are ever exactly alike. Just what is a cloud? A cloud is made up of many tiny droplets of water stuck together. Clouds float high in the sky. We can learn a lot by looking at clouds. Clouds can help us tell if the day will be rainy, clear, windy, or stormy. Types of clouds. There are three main types of clouds, stratus, cumulus, and cirrus. Stratus clouds are formed in flat layers. They are low in the sky. When you see stratus cl clouds, it can mean that a gray day lies ahead. Cumulus, cumulus, I used to say cumulus. Cumulus clouds are puffy. They can be gray or white. White cumulus clouds are in the bright sky, often mean fair weather. Cirrus clouds are thin and wispy. They are high in the sky. Cirrus clouds are made of tiny pieces of ice, but these clouds almost never make rain or snow. Okay, so you got these three types. Stratus, cumulus, cirrus. <laughs> scientists, excuse me, scientists give clouds special names. The first part of the name usually tells about the cloud's altitude or how high it is in the sky. The second part tells about its shape. Cloud names that begin with strato are low clouds. Those that begin with alto are in the middle level of the sky and cloud names that start with zero are very high. 
Stratocumulus clouds are low in the sky. They are large and puffy, and they can make light rain or snow. Cumulonimbus clouds are thick and dark. Nimbus means rain cloud. These clouds bring heavy rains with thunder, lightning, hail, and snow. I like my rain. <laughs> Alto cumulus clouds are also puffy. They are in the middle level of the sky. When you see these clouds, a thunderstorm may be coming. Cereal cumulus clouds are fluffy and white. They are formed in strong winds high up in the sky. These clouds can happen when the weather is changing. You can take some cotton balls and put them out and kind of make your own little clouds with cotton balls. It's kind of fun to do. All right. <clears throat> the water cycle. Water moves from the land, the air, and the oceans. It evaporates from the lakes, rivers, and plants. It forms clouds. Days later, the water falls back to the land as rain, sleet, snow, or hail. This continuous movement of water is called the water cycle. The sun's warmth, the sun warms the water and the air. Water evaporates or changes into water vapor. The warm air rises and cools. Water vapor in the air condenses, it changes into tiny water droplets or ice crystals, and these form clouds. The water drops and ice crystals stick together. When they become heavy, they fall to the earth as rain, sleet, hail, or snow. Rivers carry the water back to the ocean, making a cloud. Clouds are a mixture of air, water vapor, and dust. Warm water and water vapor rise up into the sky. As they rise, they get colder. The water vapor condenses. It turns into millions of tiny water droplets. You see the small clouds forming, gathering, joining together, and building up to larger clouds. The water droplets stick to tiny particles of dust Many of the droplets float together and form a small cloud. A small cloud is light and it floats in the sky. More and more droplets attach to each other. Small clouds join together. Soon, big, heavy cloud is made. Cloud, clouds can grow large and heavy. Rain, snow, or hail falls from heavy clouds. Here we see a nimbus stratus cloud look like a dark blanket across the sky. So the nimbus stratus, pretty cool. Rain clouds. Precipitation is the name for water that falls from clouds. Rain, snow, and hail are kinds of precipitation. Clouds are made of tiny water droplets. As clouds grow bigger, they get heavier. Soon, the drops can no longer float. They fall down to the ground. This is how rain happens. Different kinds of clouds bring different kinds of rain. In North America, we can see rain clouds during every season of the year. In California, there are more rain clouds in winter when it rains the most. Okay, snow and hail. When the air is in a cloud, when the air in a cloud is freezing, water droplets turn into ice crystals. If the crystals are too heavy to stay in the air, they start to fall. If the air under the cloud is colder than the freezing, the crystals turn into snow. Snowflakes are crystals of ice. It snows when it's cold. Hailstones can be as small as a pea or as large as a softball. Hailstones are made, uh, also made of ice. Hail forms during thunderstorms when it is warm. A hailstone starts as a tiny frozen water droplet. Strong winds toss the ice up and down. The ice hits other ice crystals and water droplets. Layers of water freeze into the hailstone, grows larger and larger. When the hailstones get very heavy, it falls to the ground. So the wind is keeping it up there, making it build further and further until it falls. Storm clouds. Thunder and lightning can begin as storm clouds. A storm cloud happens when warm air rises quickly and moves high into the sky. When it meets colder air, the water vapor condenses. The cloud stops moving upward. It spreads out into a shape that looks like a mushroom. It is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. At the top of the storm cloud, water droplets turn into ice crystals. They become heavy and start to fall. Ice crystals and water droplets crash into each other. This makes static electricity. The electricity causes bright sparks to light up the sky. This is lightning. Lightning is very hot, very, very hot. 
The heat from the lightning causes the air to move so fast that it makes very loud smacking sounds. So lightning is very, very hot, as I said. Okay. It makes a very loud smacking sound. And this is thunder. It's the loud smacking sound of the lightning causing the air to move so fast that it moves and makes thunder. Okay, from, okay, fog, mist, and dew. Fog, mist, and dew form when water in the air condenses near the ground. Mist is air filled with tiny droplets of water. When mist gets very thick, it is called fog. Mist and fog disappear when sunshine heats up the ground and the air. Water droplets evaporate. Dew usually forms at night. Dew forms when the air, clo air close to the ground cools off quickly. Water vapor in the air collects into small drops of water on plants and other objects. Frost may form. Frost may form. It is very cold near the ground. It should be if. Frost may form if it is very cold near the ground. Then dew drops turn into ice crystals. Frost sometimes makes beautiful ships. Amazing clouds. Clouds are amazing. They change all the time. They help us know what kind of weather is coming our way. Scientists study the clouds to predict the weather. Clouds are part of the water cycle. They form when water vapor in the air condenses. Scientists name the clouds by their shape. They also name them by their altitude. Watching clouds can be fun. Dark gray clouds might mean rain. Fluffy, fluffy clouds might mean good weather. Next time you're outside, observe the sky carefully. You might be able to predict the weather using the clouds. There's a quick glossary for all those wonderful words we used. Altitude, catch, continuous, precipitation, predict, and water vapor. Did you understand everything? So you can answer these questions for me in the discussion post about understanding. How do, you, how do scientists name clouds? What are three kinds of precipitation? And what do fog, when do fog and mist form? How do rain clouds form? That's what I want to know. This is pretty cool, predicting the weather. All right. Little engage math there. <laughs> like that. Which day had the most rain? Good question. Looking at the, the numbers on here, which one appears to have had the most rain? It says which day? Day one, two, and three. How much more rain fell on day three than day one? So you want to look at day one and look at day three, how many more inches of rain fell between those two days? How many more inches do we have here than we have here? We got two here and we got five here. So how many does it take to get from two to five? Okay. That is it for this book. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be sure you answer those questions and have a good day. Don't forget to be awesome.